What's up YouTube squad? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well out there and right in front of us. Finally, this is the Stony Clover collaboration with Barbie doll. I have been waiting for the longest time to get her. I have pre-ordered her on the um, 28th of July and today it's already October 7. I've written multiple times to Mattel about the whereabouts of my particular doll. Um, it is priced at $39.90 but because of the shipping price which is $60 US dollars, um, this is an expensive piece of doll for me so that's the reason why i was so concerned and worried about where this doll is so finally i got her the much awaited doll is here and as you can see right in front this is a see-through plastic cover which is printed stony clover x barbie over here and at the side over here this is Barbie's signature printed at the label and then you've got the Mattel logo at the bottom on the left and at the back of the box there's some message written so you can go ahead and pause the video to read about the message slightly to the top over here, it's a hot chip pastel colors with the bling bling stars around it. And then at the bottom here, it is a picture of a rainbow, a seashell, coconut tree, and a hot chip which is written Candle and Libby, the two sisters who created Stony Clover brand. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it right in front of you so let's do this together all right So, she's out from the box. Gorgeous, gorgeous looking doll. Um, something about this doll which is so special, I couldn't explain what it is. Probably the combination of her outfit, her bag, the cup. I don't know, she's just too gorgeous and I love the background of the box. This is a very good um, background for photo taking so I'm just gonna snip away all the fussiness and we'll be right back and she's out from the box before i explain about her this is the stony clover x barbie certificate of authenticity it explains that this certifies that your stony clover lane barbie doll was created through the collaborative efforts of designers and also artists at mattel Barbie's signature black label. So, yep, this is the certificate which comes together with a doll. And this doll has a stand with a white base. As you can see here is the usual um, stand. And the back of the stand is just a see-through plastic kind with the waist hugger like so. So, when you put on to the doll you have to make sure that you begin from the side of the doll and then inwards towards the back of the doll because it may actually break the waist hugger if you are not careful with it so that is how i have been placing my doll now let's talk about her she is super cute let's begin with the articulation so she's able to tilt her head upwards 
downwards a little bit and then of course she's able to tilt to her right and then to the left also she's able to turn her head not a problem whatsoever and on her head we can see that she's got her shades going on here which is fastened by this gold thread and she's got this cute little space bun right in the middle of her head let's talk about her hair she's got this um, gold kind of um, hair color the rooting it's it's all right it's not the best i've seen better but this is not that bad her hair is not very very smooth but it is pretty soft i probably do something about the hair later on because it's not the softest and um, you need to brush it out definitely so yeah i am okay and all right with the hair texture i think it's not too bad moving on to her top this is a tie-dye kind of um, top which is written here stony clover lane it's a long sleeve top and it velcros at the back like so you are able to actually unvelcro it and it ends right up to here so as you can see from the back there is no body movement for the upper torso so this is not a fully made to move body unfortunately however she's able to lift her hands like this she's able to bend her elbows and also her wrist like so at the end of her sleeve the cuffs are like so and on this hand she was holding this pink cup which is really cute is she able to drink it yeah she's able to do that not a problem so that's pretty cool and then we move on to her shorts so on her shorts there's a cute little tiny ribbon tied here and she is wearing a fully elastic band kind of shorts with no velcro at the back there's no pocket on the shorts and for her legs she is wearing these white sneakers uh it is very familiar to me it looks very much like the uh, bmr 1959 boys shoes but this is in the female version very cute it has the opening at the back and she's got the bended knees but not the three-point um, articulation just like so she's able to kick forward and backwards with no problem right so she's able to do this kind of split also i noticed that there is no upper thigh kind of joint for it to turn so it is just the normal kind of turning at this area here also i noticed that the texture on the skin has two surface this is the shiny type of surface and this has the matte finish and i also notice on the legs there is a nick over here which is very visible and the fact that she is wearing shorts it is even more visible onto this side as well so again i'm not certain why this is happening it is very obvious actually there is no ankle articulation for this particular doll 
then she comes with this gym bag which is the highlight of this doll look at it it's super cute it has the barbie name on it printed with different colors on it and i love this cute little zipper detail it's a working zip so you can actually unzip it inside this is just a cardboard to actually hold the shape of the bag it comes with two types of strap you've got this handle and also a crossbody kind of strap which is made of a ribbon material and at the back it is a plain bag so this is extremely cute you can hang it like so or you can also use this handle to hang it and place the ribbon handle right at the bottom here or you can also do a cross body and this is how the bag would look like if we use the longer strap to do a cross body bag for Barbie so my take on this doll at a price of $39 I think this is a very very cute doll it was worth the wait the longest wait ever I love everything about her although she's not a made to move body kind of Barbie but it doesn't matter to me because she's wearing shorts so I pretty much like this kind of finish however i'm really disappointed that there are two nicks on the back of her knees so that is something which i didn't expect to happen especially for this price point other than that because it's a collector's item i'm very satisfied with her and also the box i hope you have enjoyed watching this video as much as I have enjoyed unboxing her. Do join me in another video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. As always, do take care and bye for now.